God, we thank you and we bless your name. We lift you higher. We God, we bless you. We God, we lift you up. We're so good. We're so good. We're so good. And we honor you in this building. We lift you up higher and higher and higher. We lift you up higher and higher and higher. And we exalt your name in your building. We exalt your name in your house. We exalt your name in our hearts. We exalt your name in all our lips. We honor you. We give you glory. 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 We give you glory.
give God some praise. God bless you this morning. We thank God. Yes, it is another day the Lord has made. And I don't know about you, but I'm glad about it. My God, my, my. Can we give God some praise this morning for his goodness, his mercy, and his grace? Amen. We thank God for the music ministry this morning. Listen, I want to go straight into the word. That's the word I want to release into your spirit this morning. Amen. Coming from 2 Corinthians. The 10th chapter, amen, verse 4 and 5, amen. 2 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, verse 4 and 5, very familiar passage of scripture. I want to, I want to break some strongholds this morning. I want to break some yokes. I want to destroy some yokes. Listen what the word of God says. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God. For the pulling down of stronghold, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of God, bringing into bringing every thought 
into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Amen. I want to deal, amen, this morning, amen, from the subject, amen, dealing with strongholds. Amen. Dealing with strongholds. Listen, saints of God, the Apostle Paul uh, here defines strongholds as speculation or lawful things that rise up against the knowledge of God. It is, he described it as, it is the any type of thinking that exalt itself above the knowledge of God. And, and thereby, what happened is, thereby giving, watch this y'all, the devil a secure place of influence in an individual life. Listen, saints, any area of your life that you are in bondage to or having a hard time breaking loose from is a stronghold. And I come this morning, I just believe that this is a prophetic message. I believe that it is an own time and a rhema word because there are many strongholds that we carry every day. And strongholds, watch this, are results of what I call an uncrucified thought. Or unsanctified attitude that have ruled our lives during our formative years. In other words, you'll be surprised how many people that are still carrying grudges from Big Mama and them. Y'all in here. Still dealing with a man world, a world of influence. Still, a man dealing with some things that they can't seem to get over. And I don't know, my God, what kind of stronghold has pinned you down. But this morning, I believe that God wanted to destroy it. And I come this morning, the Bible said that our mind need to be renewed every day. And what happened is we have a system of thinking that does not have hope that does not, hey, we feel hopelessness and a stronghold, and I come this morning to pull it down. Many people this morning are dealing, yes, COVID-19 have, 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 have gripped us and, and took us by the hand. Yes, we have been through the last years and the last 12 months, but I come to release, amen, anointing and the Spirit of God on your life this morning to let you know that God want to, be, want to free you from your stronghold. Listen, saints of God, there are some strongholds that locks us up and, and the average person is trapped in this cycle. And, and I know the pattern. Listen, I, I know what the enemy trying to do. I know how he works. Come on, somebody. But just because we are Christians, we are not exempt from having strongholds. And we got to deal with them because, amen, there are many strongholds that we carry every day. There are fear. We deal with resentment. We deal with bitterness. We deal with unforgiveness. I'm coming your way. We deal with depression. We deal with anxiety. We deal with sinful thoughts. We deal with lust. We deal with pride. We deal with greed. Can I go on? There's so many things that got us captured and God said you can be free. Here it is. Here it is in the scripture this morning. Here it is. Paul showed us that the battle is not taking place in our physical or external environment. Rather, it's a battle in our mind. And we are to destroy arguments of every proud thing that get is trying to get itself above the knowledge of God. Listen, the Bible says what we got to do here is say we got to take we got to take captive every 
thought, amen, to the obedience of Christ. And what it is, we are really, we are literally in a fight against the arguments and the reasons of our mind. We are to capture these thoughts. Listen at me good this morning. Change them and bring them to the obedience of Christ. Let me put a quarter in me to park there. We got to capture them. We got to change them. Amen. And bring them into the obedience of Christ. Well, Bishop, how do we do that? Y'all got some good questions. How do we how do we do that? We bring our thoughts into captivity to Christ. Let's look at Philippians 4, 8 and verse 9, 4, 8 and 9, that the promise is that God of peace will be with you. Look what he said. He said, God, your mind. Don't allow uh, anything that does not measure up to the center and the thinking of your mind and let it settle there. Oh, I got some help here. He said, capture every thought that enter your mind and examine it to see it if worthy of finding a place in your belief system. Listen, sister and brother, the first thing we got to do, we got to make sure that we capture every thought. We can't continue to allow things to enter our mind. And what's happening is the devil is having a, my God, oh my God, the devil is having a field day. And that's what Roman, that's what Paul was saying in Romans 12 and 2, Paul continued with this. He said, first, he warned us to not be conformed to this world. What else, Paul? He said, don't be conformed. He said, don't let the world around you squeeze you into a mold. Paul tell us to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It is Metro Gospel. Matthew talk about his gospel is interesting in chapter 8. Amen. A centurion, watch this. A centurion come to Jesus and he tell him about his servant. Jesus offered to go and heal the servant. But look what the centurion said. The centurion said, Lord, I am not worthy for you to come under my roof. But only say a word and my servant will be healed. My God, amen. Here Jesus said, listen, I, I, I know you got some issues. I know you got some things, but watch what the centurion said. Centurion said, Lord, just say a word. Come on. And if we're going to be delivered, and we're going to be set free, oh my God, sometimes it don't take mm, for you to get in, in the prayer line. Sometimes you can just the Lord can just speak a word. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. So, Sometimes it don't take some other things and other formalities. But how many know if God just speak a word? Y'all ain't going to talk. If, how many know if he just speak a word? And I, I, I want to say to you, sister and brother, that are dealing with some stronghold. Amen. I come against it. And God told me to tell you that today is your day. How do, Bishop? How do? I find victory over this struggle. How, how do I, I get my mind back? How do I break this struggle of stronghold? First of all, I want to hurry and say it starts with you. My God, it starts with you. You, you. you can't love others if you can't love yourself. Come on, somebody. You, you are a critical uh, component of every relationship in which you're involved. And if you don't love yourself, y'all ain't going to talk to me. Amen. Amen. You can't love others. It starts with you. And, and here's the problem. Here, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Have you, ever had, have you ever had a right relationship gone wrong? Okay, y'all need to talk to me. How, how do you know when a relationship is going bad. A relationship, God help me this more, is going bad when someone cannot accept a change in your status, a change in your condition, a change in your level, a change in your position, a change in your status, because their mind is focused on you leveling up. You'll be surprised how many people 
are struggling this morning with strongholds and, and they, can't, they can't handle the new you. Can I tell somebody that in this season, in 2021, there is a new you? Okay, okay. That, 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 that is a new you. They, 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 and you'll be surprised. Let me hurry and get out here. You'll be surprised at the folk that like the old you. You know, the depress you. The oppress you, the, the bitter you, the, the unhappy you, the sad you. Come on, somebody. But God told me to tell you this morning that all you need is someone to help encourage you in the faith. And David said this, if you can't find nobody, help me somebody, to encourage you, you need to encourage yourself. Because it starts with you. And don't get mad. At someone because, amen, their status changed and, and they moved from being a follower to a leader. Don't hate on somebody and get jealous and resent them when you have the opportunity to break your stronghold. And I come to tell somebody the Lord told me it's time for you to break free. It's time for you to, how, how do I do it, Bishop? It starts with you. Not only does it start with you, but it ends with you. You got to know, you got to understand that it only take one touch. See, because you know what I found out, y'all? I'm getting out of here. You know what I found out? It's easy to become discouraged. Mm. It's easy to become discouraged. Can I get some help in this house? But don't worry. Amen. There's a song that don't worry. Be happy. And God is lining up, I believe, in this season, the right people in your life. He is going before you. He's preparing the next chapter of your life. And you know what? You ain't seen nothing yet. That's why the devil plays tricks with your mind. You got to understand that you got to stop allowing the devil to play tricks with your mind. It's two or three things I'm going to tell you and I'm out of here. Number one, if you're going to break these strongholds, if you're dealing with strongholds, the first, one of the first things you got to do is renew your faith. Yeah. Renew your faith. Yesterday's faith won't work in today's challenge. I, I need to say that again. Yesterday's faith won't work in today's challenge. You got to trust God for today. That's why he said, amen, renew your mind daily because every day with Jesus. Come on, get better with it. Y'all ain't going to talk to you. You got to remove, renew your mind daily. The second thing, not only you have to renew it, but the second thing, you got to reclaim God's promises. The Bible said all of God's promises are yes and amen. Come on. You got to start putting pressure on the promise of God. You got to lift your head up and start saying, Lord, you said I'm the head and the tail. Amen. You said I'm the head and not the tail. You said I'm above and not beneath. You said, amen, weeping may do for a night, but joy in the morning. You got to reclaim the promises of God. Amen. And that certain thing, I don't reclaim the promise of God, but here it is. You got to resolve to correct unhealthy relationship and build new ones. Because everybody ain't out to get you. Okay, y'all. You got to correct unhealthy relationship. All the bitterness all the hatred. I'm, I'm teaching somebody this morning. God said it's time for you to build. You know, you know, watch this. We're supposed to be builders of one another. We are supposed to be helpers of one another. And you got to watch the enemy. You know what I always say a stronghold is? A stronghold is a mindset that won't accept a situation as unchangeable. Amen. Whenever a stronghold is planted in your mind, amen, Satan will use every tool and every tactic available to oppress you. But I come to tell somebody this morning that it's time to live for God. It's time to have the blessings of God. It's time to have the joy of God. And you got to tear down every stronghold. Here's the problem with that. I'm getting ready to pray that a lot of us have learned to function 
in their stronghold. Let me, let me say this, y'all. Let me say this. It's okay. It's all right not to be all right. But it's not all right to stay not all right. I'd say it's you, you have an obligation. You have a commitment to God to pull down those strongholds. Yes, I understand. It's all right to cry sometimes. Amen. It's all right not to be all right. But it's not all right to stay that way. You got to change your mindset. You got to pull down those strongholds. The reason you got to pull them down, because he died that you may pull them down, y'all. He died that we may live. He died that we may, y'all ain't going to talk to me. He died that we may have life and have it more abundantly. He died that we can, my God, we can live. And it's time for us to live. Live our life to the fullness of God. And I'm going to pray this morning. That's it, y'all. I want to encourage you this morning as I'm getting ready to pray that today can be your breakthrough. I've been praying for God. I've been praying for God. God showed me the early part of this year that in this 2021 season that he's going to work miracles, he's going to heal, and he's going to give us breakthrough. Why not let him heal your mind? Why not let him give you a breakthrough and, and, and that you can pull, that you become free? Why not rejoice? Why not, amen, come to you and say, well, you, you make a decision. You need to make a decision today that I'm going to be happy, that I am going to be happy, that I am going to have the fullness of my joy, that I am going to live for God, no matter what the haters say, no matter what the people say, I love God enough and there's nothing that can separate me from the love of God. And I want to pray this morning. I just, I just want to pray. God told me to pray this morning. I want to come up against every stronghold, every mindset, everything that attempted you started out. We, we, we just come out for 21 day fast and we trusted God from the stuff, but we just like Jesus, which the devil just like he did Jesus. We come out, Jesus had been fasting 40 days and 40 nights. And as soon as he got through, the enemy was right there. But let's go at y'all. We got the word of God. We have the word of God. And how many know prayer changes things? Father God, this morning, I thank you this morning. God, I thank you. I thank you for your word. God, I thank you that those that somebody this morning needs you, God. That somebody this morning need a breakthrough. That somebody need a miracle, God. That somebody need a healing. But somebody is struggling with a stronghold. Somebody is struggling with a mindset. And God, this morning, I ask that you renew our mind. I ask God that you will heal right now. In the name of Jesus. God, we come up against it, attacks of the enemy, and we plead the blood of Jesus. God, we plead the blood, the blood, the blood. We come up against any attacks of the enemy, and God, we are, cast, we are pulling down every stronghold. God, I pray for every family. I pray for every relationship this morning. God, I pray that you will move. You told me you were going to move in a supernatural way, and God, this morning, we give you praise. We give you honor and we give you glory. In the name of Jesus, we lift you up and we say thank you. We believe it's done in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God this morning. Come on, give God some praise. Listen, I want to tell you that today can be your breakthrough. Today can be your day. It's time for you to break free. Amen. It's time for you to pull down every stronghold. I come up against every oppressed spirit, every depressed spirit in the name of Jesus. It's time for us to be free. It's time for us to level up. It's time for us to be who God called us to be and trust God as we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Hold on, saint. Help is on the way. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer. Y'all already know all is well. God bless you.